Hey guys, what's up? It's Sal here, and I'm here with... Hey man, it's me Bruce Marley from Buzzcut. So Buzzcut is an indie movie directed by Martin Renner. If you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. So, how are you enjoying your first hash thus far? Um, it's okay. I mean, I wasn't supposed to be here alone. Welcome, Hashes, to La Maison de Flatulence. A day without wine is like... I have no idea what that's like. Gemma Nonet, please step forward. We now name this... Snapper. <laughs> have you heard about the legend of the beekeeper? He lost his mind, went on a killing spree. Some say he's still out there in the woods. Protecting his bees. Why do you not handle this place? You keep saying you got something for me. Well, listen, buddy, I've got something for you. If you think you're what gonna sport have to be like today? Me. The real queen bee, you royal jelly honeycomb sucking mother. So that was the trailer for Buzzcut. Did you recognize someone in the trailer? Um, so recently I got to go to Martin's house and uh, and he showed off some of his cool props from the movie, such as this. Check it out. Yeah, so this is Donald Wilkes's, Donald Wilkes's um, neck appliance. So this was the first thing we did when she came over. We took her uh, to the effects shop and they molded the neck for her. And it has, a, it has a cut throat. And that's obviously a blood tube where we spray the, spray the blood out. Spoilers. Um, what else? Don, uh, I may as well kind of um, work around in order. So that's Donna Wilkes. Uh, this is Donna's... B costume, wow. which also ended up covered in blood, <laughs> and that's her shirt. So at the end of the movie, when she gets her throat cut, this is what she's wearing. And that's why it's all splattered. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any Linnea Quigley clothes because she brought all of her own stuff and she she took it back with her that's the way it goes um okay so that's donna wilkes what else um chainsaws well this is the chainsaw it's a real chainsaw it doesn't work <laughs> I'm, I'm sure uh this is the chainsaw which we see in the flashbacks and at the beginning of the movie so this is the one that ca uh, cuts off this guy's head uh, and uh, we also see the the beekeeper um, yeah in a couple of flashbacks walking around with this and this is the other chainsaw so this is the one the keeper uses uh, for the, the basically the second half of the uh, it used to work, probably doesn't work anymore. Did you have to get permission for the logo? We're actually, we're, we're just going to blur that out. Oh. So that's pretty easy um, to do. Um, this chainsaw, still got hair on it. Uh, this is the one we actually used to split this girl's head. Yeah. So it was working and we... <laughs> Uh, we cut her head right down the middle, and there you go. So that was done by the chainsaw. Um, so when we when we molded the actress's head, it was one, you know, it was one complete piece, and then we we chainsawed it. So. <laughs> ah, so that's a really cool effect. Little bits and pieces. That's the beekeeper's 
wound uh, when the beekeeper fights uh, Gemma. Gemma's the heroine. Uh, at the end, he gets his arm cut. It's the beekeeper's arm. And you play the beekeeper. I play the beekeeper, yeah. Um, just kind of out, out of necessity, you know, no one was around. I was there, so... You could have asked me, I would have done it. <laughs> Next time. Uh, yeah, we got a couple of weapons. This, uh, these, um, sh what would you call these, shears? Yeah. Uh, these were used to kill a um, couple of band members. There you go. Um, yeah, just all sorts of things. This is the knife which kills Donna Wilkes at the oh. end. So, so most of these things, like the chainsaws, you know, the shears, machete. This is Donna's machete, uh, which Gemma uh, takes off her at the end of the movie. So most of these things are, you know, real, um, real tools, which we had, you know, painted by the um, by the FX people. So they. Uh, you know, they made it look all rusty and you know, cool. scary. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, different bits and pieces of clothing left over. I know you like that one, but there's only two in the world, so... <laughs> Where's the other one? Uh, Gaurav has it. Ashton has it. Yeah. This is um, one of our characters gets stabbed. Through the middle, is the hole. A um, couple of Phoenix's um, hoodies. Uh, we also have a we have a flashback of the beekeeper as a child. So we have a child's beekeeping suit. What else? Uh, this is supposed to be <laughs> a hornet's nest. Oh, and cool. at one point, this is <laughs> slammed into one of our characters' faces oh, because he's wow. allergic to bees. Yeah. So we have this ah, kind of That's thing cool. going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so all of these things like that, the heads, the, the arm, all of that was done by body effects. Um, the hand, the hand is really, really cool. The nails. Yeah, they feel really creepy and real. So, um, so it's, uh, it's in the movie? No, like, did they have to, like, do the hood someone? Someone? I don't know. Uh, no, I think it's just a generic hand design. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, in the movie, it's one of the band members uh, gets gets chopped up. It's another part of yeah. band wow. member. Um, this chainsaw, this, this was probably the most expensive thing because uh, it's, you know, it's not a real chainsaw. Yeah. Um, this, in the movie, this isn't used by the beekeeper. It's actually used by um, one of the characters as a, as a prank, you know, like they're trying to scare their, their teammates or housemates or whatever. Um, okay. that, that cost a fortune because... Uh, we had it, you know, specifically made for the film. And that was from China? Uh, no, that was a local, a local oh. effects person did that. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it. Um, fake, uh, fake barbed wire, which we used to kill one of our uh, characters. Pretty simple prop. <laughs> Whose shoes are those? Uh, those are Gemma's shoes. So our main character, she runs around in those the whole time. And the heads, yeah. So that was our first head. And then we, um, I think... Man, they look so realistic. Yeah, well, yes. you know, um, the molding... Pro Actually, the molding process is pretty quick. About 20 minutes. Um, not entirely comfortable, I believe. Because uh, you know they cover the whole head in plaster, mm. and it's, there's just a little little space for breathing. Um, but yeah, so uh, this one, 
This oh, one cool. we um, this is probably our most gruesome effect. The eye stab. I like this knife. So we got a really cool shot of the knife <laughs> going in and blood's coming out at the same time. <laughs> I like this one because it's very um, you know the features of the yeah, face. Yeah, I mean you can see the wrinkles and yeah, everything. totally, totally match the actress, yeah. and the effect was really cool as well. Because oh wow, you know her head gets chopped off the top. So, was she wearing a wig in the movie, or did they find hair yeah, that matched her? It's it's pretty incredible. Her real hair looks like this. Wow. And when she went to the um, you know to the effects place, she was kind of saying you know you you'll never find hair like mine and then they're like well what about this and it's pretty much yeah. exactly the same <laughs> yeah uh this one it's quite a uh, detailed piece oh. should sit there yeah there we go so yeah so this is uh, a whole head and neck piece and all that was tucked in that tongue looks so real. Oh, I yeah. know, it's spongy. And <laughs> yeah, and then we, rah, we ripped the head off like that. It's a very cool effect. And you've seen the head split for that one. Um, yeah, there we go. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Bits and pieces, different costumes. Yeah. Uh, of course, we still have other stuff like the full beekeeper uniform, which I'm which I'm keeping for uh, the sequel because <laughs> there's going to be a sequel but uh, yeah, there you go Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also if you like the shirt I'm wearing uh, you can buy this and other merch in the link below and I'll give you a coupon to get 15% off if you just type in King Tyler and uh, yeah, it's really cool match and guess who designed it all? How's it guy. So yeah, in the description below and just buy it. It's awesome. Don't I look cool in it? And you can look just as cool in it too. Alright, peace out.